this is a 10th problem which wants us to prove that the figure form by joining the midpoints of the four sides of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram so we make a quadrilateral let us say this is a b c and d so they want us if we join the midpoint e f g and h then the figure which we get this figure e f g h they want us to prove that this is a parallelogram now this is an important question because it gives us a practice of the different properties of quadrilaterals we start by joining the diagonal ac now in triangle adc since h is the mid midpoint of ad and g is the midpoint of dc so hg will be equal to half of ac and hg will be equal to parallel to ac because we know that in a triangle if we join the midpoint of two sides of a triangle let us say this is abc triangle and we joint e and f then and e is the midpoint of ab and f is the midpoint of ac then the length ef is equal to half of length bc and ef will be equal to parallel to bc similarly in triangle cba we have f as the midpoint of cb e is the midpoint of ea ba so ef will be equal to half of ac and ef will be equal to parallel to ac from these four equations we get hg is parallel to ef and hg is equal to af so we can clearly see in this figure we have got one pair of parallel sides and equal sides similarly if we join the diagonal bd in triangle cdb we have got gf is equal to half of db and gf equals is parallel to db and similarly in triangle adb we have got eh to be parallel to db and eh to be equal to half of db so in the similar way as we did earlier we get eh is parallel to gf and eh is equal to gf now this is parallel to this and this is equal to this and similarly this is parallel to this and this is equal to this so we have got two pairs of sides which are parallel to each other and which are equal in length and this is the property of a parallelogram hence the figure form by joining the four midpoints of the four sides of a quadrilateral is definitely a parallelogram